Dozens came out to honor a 15-year-old Battle High School student killed in a shooting over the weekend. In the meantime, Columbia police are still searching for suspect information in the homicide investigation. ABC 17 Chanel Porter is live at the Columbia Police Department after attending that vigil at McKee Street earlier today. And Chanel, some CPD officers went to the vigil today to show their support for the community. Several CPD officers joined the nearly 200 people at the vigil today to remember the life of Aubrey Doxley. I spoke to Aubrey's mother after the event about the heartbreak that she's feeling as she mourns the loss of her 15-year-old daughter. I don't want to live without my daughter. Latoya Doxley lost her daughter in a shooting on McKee Street Saturday morning, but she said when she heard the shots ring out, she didn't think it was anything out of the usual. This is realistically every night, so even that night, I thought it was something normal. Latoya said Aubrey was laying in her bed when the shots came through the window and killed her. Since then, she has been working with police to try to find out answers for her daughter. They've been keeping me posted, even with late night calls when they've had development. Lieutenant Richard Horrell says it was important for his officers to attend the event today. We're here for them. We feel for them. We understand what's going on and, and we're saddened by it all too. This isn't the first shooting in the McKee Street area. In June of 2020, a 16-year-old victim was shot out while riding his bike. In September of 2019, a woman and man were shot and killed. And in September of 2017, a man was shot and killed. Columbia police officers opened a substation on McKee Street Street in 2018 to address the violence. Coral tells me that's no longer there, but police are still in the area. They're still up here. We're working diligently. Um, the beat officers remain in these areas to work hard. But community members say the violence can't just be answered with more policing. We talk about Black Lives Matter. When are we going to start talking about black on black crime? When are we going to start talking about we killing one another? That's what we need to be talking about. Tells me that this is all about the community coming together to get guns off of the streets. She's also calling on parents to try harder to keep their kids out of gun related activity. Reporting live in Columbia, Chanel Porter, ABC 17 News. Okay, Chanel, thank you. Great story there. Police are still looking for answers. Anyone with information is encouraged to contact the Columbia Police Department or Crime Stoppers at the number you see on your screen to remain anonymous.